So with no further ado, I want to introduce Mr. Blake Leeper. Welcome, Blake. Hello, everybody. How's it going? That's great. Thank you so much. My name is Blake Leeper. Uh, I am a U.S. Paralympic athlete, uh, hope, future, future Olympic hopeful. Uh, I just want to say thank you so much for having me, allow me to share my story, and I'm super excited to run with you guys. And most importantly, I'm excited for the pretzels. So wherever those are at, I'm in, officially in my off season, so we can we can have a little fun. But uh, real quick, um, I have a few minutes. I kind of want to tell you my story. Um, like I said, I'm training to qualify for the Olympic Games um, next year, Tokyo 2020. And by doing that, I would be the first amputee ever uh, to qualify for the Olympics. I am the fastest amputee in the world right now with a time of 44.38 seconds. So at the end, for the kids, for anybody who wants to ask me any questions with my journey or my battle with the Olympic Committee or my, my training techniques, I'm an open book. You can ask me at the end or throughout the run or whatever it may be, okay? Is that cool? Awesome. So with that being said, uh, August 31st, you know, the day that I was born, of course, the doctor said I would never walk. Um, congenital birth defect, fibula hemimilia. Um, and they basically said I was going to be bound in a wheelchair my whole life. And, and that's the most important thing that I want to tell to the kids and, and to whoever who's facing trials or tribulation is that the, the fact that if you can keep a positive attitude towards the whole situation, and even though they wrote me off from day one, you know, they just said you're never going to walk, you're never going to run. But the fact that I had strong family members and, and strong, a strong community and people in my life that, that pushed me, I, I learned a valuable lesson. And that valuable lesson is that anything is truly possible. If you work really, really hard, and for the kids, if you have dreams or goals or ambitions or whatever you want to do with your life, if you work really, really hard and stay focused, right, truly stay focused, you can accomplish anything, right? You have to, you have to understand the day that I was born, the doctor said I would never walk. <laughs> And here I am almost qualifying for the Olympic Games and you know this year I'm the sixth fastest man in the world in the 400 meters legs or no legs So it's crazy to think and, and I tell people all the time that my biggest disability is not the fact that I'm missing my legs My biggest disability is the, what people assume I can do because I'm missing my legs And if I listen to the people who who told me what I can and cannot do but like you can't run But like you cannot walk but like you can't play sports and if I listen to that that I wouldn't be standing in front of you here today. If I listened to those naysayers and the negativity in my life, I wouldn't be able to travel the world and, and live a fulfilled life, right? So I'm, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm so thankful for the, for the many opportunities that, that I, I've experienced. You know, I've, I've took a silver and a bronze in the, in the 400 meters and the 200 meters in 2012. Actually, I have my Olympic medals right here, so check these out. You guys gotta check these out. Pass those around. And, you know, one of my favorite quotes is uh, from Coach Lou Holtz, and, and, and he said, life is 10% of what you're dealt with and 90% on how you deal with it. And you, and you look at my life, you look at my situation, that is my 10%, the fact that I was born without legs, but I still have 90% to show the world what I truly can do. I still have 90% to wake up each and every day, put a smile on my face, and go fight. And I'm thankful for these opportunities. And I, I, and I remember I closed with this, Somebody asked me one time, it was, it was a reporter, and he said, do you ever wish you was born with your legs? Do you ever wish you never had to go through this? And I was thinking really hard, and I was trying to come up with this amazing answer, and, and I couldn't. You know, I said, honestly, no. I'm thankful that I was born missing both of my legs. And the, and the reality of it is, and I learned through all the trials and tribulations in my life, that my, my adversity is my advantage. The fact that I was born like this, and the fact that I had to deal, deal with this, it, learned, it taught me how to fight. It taught me how to endure. It taught me how to push on. So whatever thing that I face moving forward, whether it's the Olympic Committee or whether it's trying to break world records or trying to be the fastest man in the world, I've gained tools by overcoming this main challenge in my life. So whatever trials and tribulations that you face today, embrace it. Whatever hurdle that you might face tomorrow, accept it because that is your advantage. The fact that I was born like this, I got to show the world that I'm a true fighter and I'm never going to quit. So as I keep fighting to qualify for the Olympic Games, I, I encourage everybody to keep fighting whatever dreams and ambitions that you may have. And the support that I gain from you guys is, is I know will be a support for a lifetime. So I want to say thank you for, for listening to me. And I hope you enjoyed my story and my medals. And, and before I end, I want to end with a quote. It's from Dr. Martin Luther King. And he said, if you cannot fly, run. If you cannot run, walk. If you cannot walk, crawl. But whatever you do, whatever you do, you must keep moving forward. Thank you guys so much for your time. Let's go run. Let's go do this.